Good morning, Dollar General penny shopping fans. Happy Monday and Easy Penny Shopping here. Um, this video is going to be very important. Um, obviously, we have a penny list. Um, shout out to my paid members that got that off of Facebook uh, a couple days ago. Thanks for sharing that. Obviously, shout out to my secret helper that got those visuals put together quite quickly. Um, but also, we're going to talk about how we get surprise pennies. That's right. I spoke with a manager yesterday that filled me in on some info. Oh my gosh, it makes a lot more sense and you're going to want to hear it. And then we are going to talk about Blue Dot Toys because, okay, you guys, there are still a ton out there and I found so many over the weekend. I have found so many since last Tuesday, but more so Friday and Sunday. So I want to make sure everybody knows exactly what they're looking for, why they're finding ones that look alike, but also if you're taking advantage of the toy shopping deal now, which ones you need to buy so that the next toy penny round, you can find more. All right, let's get to it. store yesterday that I don't frequent and I spoke with a manager and we were just chit-chatting about pennies obviously I had found some and she was surprised that I had found some and I think they weren't even marked so she started talking about surprise pennies and she explained to me you know well one she said she'd been with the company for 13 years this specific store she had managed for seven years she said she found out two years ago why they had surprise pennies that weren't on the penny list oh my gosh it makes sense so she said if there is an item that's going to penny but there are less than ten thousand units of that item across all of Dollar General stores, it doesn't go on a list because it's not at all stores or there's only a couple. There's just not that many out there. So they don't put it on the list so that stores aren't wasting time looking for it. Doesn't that make sense? So our surprise pennies Actually, Dollar General does know about a lot of them that are going to penny, but they don't put it on that penny list because there's just not of them, enough of them out there. So this just goes more with my personal opinion of penny shopping that Dollar General, this is not hurting their bottom line very much. They have much, much bigger problems than penny shopping. Let me know your thoughts on that. You agree? Does that make sense? I mean, I think it does. And I think, do you also agree? Dollar General isn't too concerned or else they would make sure they got every single item on that penny list, right? Next is remodel shopping. That's right. I was at a remodel yesterday and I got pennies. So um, we are going to discuss all the... Um, issues with the remodel flipping to pennies um, and my personal opinion on what's happening but also the fact that I was just at a remodel yesterday and we got plenty of pennies. So we're going to talk about that in more detail in an upcoming video so that everybody knows basically with these changes, how can you still find the pennies? How do you get the information you need to find the pennies at those stores? And basically, what do we do next? Obviously, Dollar General does a lot of toy sales, you know, working their way up to Christmas. But I wanted to make sure everybody understood as far as 
toys are concerned and penny toys are concerned. You know, obviously toys don't penny as often as other items. They're not like a seasonal item. So typically it's every two years or three years that we have toys penny. But we have also had some, just like our yellow dot, I mean, we've had some that have been a little bit closer together, which gives me a lot of hope. So what I wanted to talk about is just the current toys that are on the shelf. And if you are going to be buying toys for Christmas or taking advantage of any of their toy sales, what toys you want to buy versus the ones you don't want to buy because those will be the next ones to penny. And if you're not clearing your stores out of them now, then you're gonna have more chances to find them later. So right now, um, toys on the shelf, obviously blue dot, it's still there. I got plenty of videos, don't worry, plenty of in-store videos. Oh my gosh, that's coming up too. Um, but we have yellow dot, Yellow Dot is the newest, okay? They are 24s. Then we have Blue Star and Yellow Star. Blue Star, those are F23s. Yellow Star are F22s. So, F22s, they should be going 2025, right? So you don't want to buy up the yellow stars. I would stick to your yellow dots or your blue stars because those yellow stars are going to be the next ones to penny. Uh, whatever, blue star, yellow star, blue dot, yellow dot. They have the exact same or very similar toys. The only difference is the symbol on that toy, the year on that toy, and the UPC. So most likely, if you do want a specific toy, you're going to be able to find it as a yellow dot or as a blue star, and you can leave those yellow stars behind. So let me know your thoughts on that. And we also have blue dot books. Ridiculous, but they are excluded. I can make it rain like a cash tsunami. You want to slip and slide, we can link up. Working all the time, make it duller. Be a student, try to make a dollar Wanna live life like I'm on vacation Gotta get those good vibrations oh, I, Glowing so bright, I'm going so high I'm riding high and it's just closer Loving what I do and I know nothing gets me down Cause I can turn it Track star. I don't gotta run hard just 
to get by Cause I work real hard but then I play harder That's how I know that I'm a gift Did you make it? Please comment below for a chance to win $20. I'm doing a drawing each week. So this is something new. I'm going to start including what I consider my watch list for future pennies. From before Valentine's Day, when are these going to go? These appeared for 4th of July. They are already 10% off. When will they go? What food group are they going to go with? And got to love Easter candy that also reset. So, hmm. When will we get to see these as pennies again? And notice the expiration date. Will these penny before they suck? A summer flave, a V8 splash, and regular price is $2.35. So when are they going to go? Okay, this one perplexes me. There are two flavors. They are actually a newer item, but they've been on sale for like a month. And I mean, they're almost half off. So I feel like they're not going to be there long. And some of our forgotten summer barbecue Ones that didn't penny at all, ones that only pennied in certain stores. So are these going to fall under like the 10,000 rule? Does that also determine what pennies or is it the expiration date? Or are these going to go with like the fall food? I don't know. What do you think? Then we have our Calabunga Grape Hawaiian Punch. We typically have some Hawaiian Punch that pennies. This is only five cents cheaper, but it's not a flavor that's normally on the shelf. So... Keep an eye out. Then there's the Celsius drinks. And these are somewhat new to Dollar General. I feel like they just came in in the last, I would say, Pog reset. And they have had some crazy dollar coupons on them and already on sale. I just feel like it's it's a little fishy and we need to keep an eye on that one. And the last group would just be other food candy type clearance items that I don't know. Now, knowing this whole 10,000 rule, if these are less than that, I mean... These could penny, right, with the other food tomorrow. So um, definitely check out all of your clearance food because we never know. And these things are happening left and right. Yeah. I've been making moves like a ninja. I could play it cool like I'm winter. I can make it rain like a cash tsunami. You want to slip and slide, we can link up. Working all the time, make it duller. Be a student, try to make